Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. We are a global Methodist congregation and we're wrapping up this week of asking this big question, what did Jesus do? And we've learned that Jesus died and he rose again. And that's the whole point of what today's bigger answer tells us. First Timothy 3, 16. Hear now these words. Beyond all question, the mystery from which true godliness springs is great. He appeared in the flesh, was vindicated by the Spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among the nations, was believed on in the world, was taken up in glory. Now, these are the words we think from the Apostle Paul to his young protege, Timothy, writing to Timothy to let him know, dear, dear friend, as you take on the mantle of leadership in this church in Ephesus, here's the things that you need to know and to preach. And 1 Timothy 3.16 is the back end of two bookends from John 3.16, where we learn that For God so loved the world, he gave his only son, that whosoever should believe in him would have eternal life. And that here in Timothy is what this is all about. The mystery from which true godliness springs, the ability to live forever and ever in a right relationship with God, with fullness of love and peace and joy, where there are no more tears, no more sorrow. It all boils down to this. Jesus died, he rose again, That's what it means to be vindicated by the Spirit. He was seen by the angels, preached among the nations. The reason that there is Christianity in the world today is because his good news has continued to be treated be preached. That's what I'm doing with this video. I'm expressing to you the power, the truth, the joy of Jesus and what he did in dying and rising and then taken up into glory. He ascended into heaven where he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty to borrow the language from our great creeds. And Jesus is going to do something else. He's going to come back. My friends, when Jesus comes back, it will not be that quiet, out of the way corner like it was with his birth in Bethlehem. This is gonna be loud and instant and the whole world will know. Here's what we have to do in the meantime. We wait with anticipation. We act with dedication and we believe with everything we are. And I don't know what kind of Asian that looks like, but I think you get the idea. Here at Goldston Methodist Church, that's what we're trying to do is to capture and to express this idea of living our lives completely for Jesus, with Jesus, in Jesus. And all that we are and all that we do is based upon what he has already done. You're invited to come and be part of this gathered community. These people who follow Jesus with heart, soul, mind, and strength and love neighbors as themselves. We have a tremendous excitement here at Goldston and you can come and join us. Be a part of what God is continuing to do. You're invited to come on Sundays at 10 a.m. for our faith formation, Sunday school, worship experiences. These are for every age from the youngest to the oldest. And then we have worship at 11, and it is a wonderful time to sing and pray and hear the good news of Jesus expressed and explained and articulated into our hearts and turned into action for the rest of the week. If you can come join us in person, we're at 185 Hill. Crest Avenue in Goldston, North Carolina. If you can't be with us in person, you're invited to be a part of our virtual gathering. We live stream our worship services on 
Facebook, and we also put them on YouTube so that you can experience what we are doing in this little corner of the world that has an impact into every corner of the world. And I'll see you on Monday for our next daily devotion. Thank you.